is it? Sweetie, wake up. What? Wake up, Mom. What? Wait, what? Today's your interview. Don't you remember? <gasps> my interview? Oh, oh, it's my interview for my job. I got to get up. <sighs> but, oh, I'm so tired. Sweetie, you need to get up. You're already running late. Okay, okay, I'll get up. Outfit's good for my job interview. So, I have this yellow hair clip, yellow heart sunglasses, this like tealy blue necklace, green dress, um, a silver purse, and silver shoes. Uh, they're a little big because they're my mom's, but uh, oh no, I'll figure it out. Is she? She's supposed to be here by now. Um, she'll, I'm, I'm guessing she'll be here soon. Uh, this is already not a good sign. Is she's late for her interview, and we take this very seriously. It's, isn't this just a hair salon? Uh, a fancy hair salon, the best in town, in the city. Who told you that? Uh, don't talk back to me. Do you want to be fired? No, no, not at all. Good. Now, uh, just, I hope she hurries up or she is definitely not getting the job, even if she's a miracle hair salon worker. No. Um, okay. Tell me when she gets here, if she gets here. I've got work to do. Okay. Definitely not getting this job. I mean, my hair clip fell out. My my shoes I lost on the bus. There's no way I'm getting this job. Or Carmen? Yep. And why are you late? Oh, sorry. I just had some, some stuff to do. More important than this job interview. No, 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 no. It's just like, um, things, things. Like, what things? Oh, I just, I'm sorry, I woke up late. My alarm clock wasn't working. First rule of being the hairdresser, never make excuses. Now, where are your shoes? Oh, yeah, yeah, about that. Um, you see, they kind of fell off on the bus. Oh, my. And speaking of uh, appearances, this is a hairdresser, and what is with your hair? Well, it looked good when I left the house, and then the bus ride just messed it up really badly. Tell you what, I'll give you three minutes to go in the bathroom and fix yourself, and we'll restart this, okay? Okay, but what about the shoes? Uh, just, we'll just forget about the shoes right now, okay? Okay, good. Uh, okay, I'll go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gabriella. Um, you will call me Miss Montez. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Um, you, your hair is, um, I'm sorry I didn't have a brush. Anyway, so why do you think you'd be a good fit for this job? Well, I have a lot of experience. I actually helped um, at a daycare and I played hair salon with everyone. That's not exactly experience. Oh, um, you mean real experience? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I've got that. Um, my um, my my aunt she owns a hair salon, and I used to help out there when I was little. Okay, what was the hair salon called? Um, uh, the, 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 the hair care. The hair care, I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's um in Utah, yep. Okay, I'll look it up later. Oh, no, no, it's good, you're, you're good. Anyway, um, uh, let's see. Uh, what would, how would you treat a customer? If someone asked you, would you for would you wait for them to tell you what they wanted for their hair, or would you ask them? Um, I think I'd ask them so then that they know I'm professional. Very good. Now let's see. We're gonna do some hair tests to see how you would style the hair to see if you're fit. And did you go to college for hair? Oh no, I'm in high school. Oh, okay. So. You'll probably be an apprentice that you won't be able to become a full hairstylist until you go to our training. Oh, yeah, of course. I just want some experience, you know. I thought you said you have experience. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just more experience, you know. Okay, so we're going to do some tests to evaluate how you would do. Of course. Let's get started then. Okay, April, and you'll be doing her hair today. Oh, hey, April. Hey. This set my bag down. So just do whatever I want. Uh, yes. Just give us an example of you were able to do any hairstyle you wanted. Oh, of course. Start by brushing your hair. Ooh, tingle. How to 
to straighten it. I'm going to spray some um, hairspray on it just to keep it, help me be able to style it. There we go. And the finished result. Let me just, there we go. And I put some sunglasses and her hair to like just have more accessories in it. Ooh. Well, this is nice. What do you think? Gabri I mean Miss Montez. Oh. What do you think? Hmm. Um let's see. So how many hair ties, hair elastics did you use? One. Hmm, interesting. You can spin them around. See the sunglasses were a nice touch. Was it going for like ballerina or like a little messy? A little messy. Hmm, I see, I see. Hmm, I'll have to discuss this with April. Please wait there. Of course. Come on. Oh, um, fine. I don't think she did. I think she did pretty good. But, yes. Um, well, if I had one critique, which I only have one, it would be, um, maybe just, it's a very simple hairstyle, you know, like, anyone could do it. You wouldn't usually come to a hair salon just to get a messy bun. Yes, that's what I was thinking. So, I, I don't know, she's so nice, though. I know, but she showed up late, and all she does is this hairstyle. What if we give her a chance, like, a one-week thing, and, like, if we like her, then she can stay. But if we don't, then she'll have to go. Hmm, that's a good idea. Let's do it. Really? Yes. Oh, great. Now, I better go serve some customers. Yup. Um, Carmen, can you come here? Oh, yeah, of course, I'm, I'm coming. Oh, so what'd you decide? Well, what we decided was that, first of all, you came here late. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. And also, the hairstyle you chose was very simple. So, say if no one would really most people wouldn't come to a hair salon for a to get a messy bun Th that's true so me and april decided that if um let's say we're gonna keep you for a week if we like you then you can stay but if we don't you'll have to go oh okay okay i get it does that sound okay to you yes of course good then we have a deal oh why certainly Good to have you on the team, Miss Corman. Yep, thanks, of course.